Okay, now we want to explain subsurface scattering that is calling SSS. Make sure that you are in a standard render that we are in a <coughs> this course we are switching between standard and physical. And then you can create a simple material and assign to this. Assign to this object. And for seeing or changing, we need to interactive render at higher quality. Nice. <clears throat> In this scene, we have an object that we have a spotlight lighting above that. You can choose a spotlight and make it cone bigger. Nice. In this angle, we want to uh, create an render to better see that. Make it a bigger to whole scene. Nice. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, the light is hitting the back of the object and you cannot see uh, this part of the object. We need a shader like a marble or candle that you can see a light throwing that object. For creating such a these things, double click on an edit material for better seeing the subsurface scattering shader, you have to assign it to luminance channel. Turn off the luminance channel and it emits a light. Then going to the texture and in effects, subsurface scattering. Immediately you can see the light, the cone light is throwing the object and we have marble shader like this on a candle. <clears throat> going to the subsurface scattering and we have a lot of sitting here, shader, multiple, single, advance and light. <clears throat> we start with a shader. You can see the example of this a shader is like a candle. So first thing we have a preset. Custom preset, it means custom setting. If you want, you can change it to the Apple. <clears throat> it's automatically change all of the settings to achieve your preset. Apple, Cram, or Marble, something like that. Or potato and skin, if you want to create skin of the human you can like make like that for better understanding that the subsurface scattering is something like this marble statue or another thing that you want you can create that and this is a skin or any preset that you want you can use it <clears throat> i change it to the custom to uh bringing back for faster render, I reduce the quality of the render to the middle to seeing the changes fast. From here, you can change the color of your material directly here. Now you can see the subsurface is gathering nicely. <clears throat> You can control the strength of this effect with here, less subsurface scattering or 100% or a higher, you can click and drag here, you can make it a higher, more brightness, or more power of this effect here. Like the other setting, you can add a shader, simple shader here, you can all of the, use this, but this is all about the black and white code. It means, for example, if you create a noise to that, it means in some cases, no, it's not. Uh, <clears throat> clear that. You can use, for example, gradient. The gradient, it means in some case, in some part of the gradient, you can make it, for example, because it's a 3D, you can make it 3D linear. It means uh, in the black <clears throat> area, I don't want to assign uh, subsurface scattering and in the white area I want to uh, this effect calculating my object so this is all about black and white code the black part you don't have that common the white part we have 
black is no, white is yes. So you can use something like that in a shader. So you can control which part of your object you can assign this effect. Uh, the important part is pass links. Uh, <clears throat> I can explain this uh, option in two ways. The pass links is the, look at this. The pass links is how much the light rays come through the object. Okay. You can imagine something like that. Uh, if we have a higher number, a light going more through the object. For example, a higher number. You can see the light going through object and we have brighter object. Or if you make it less, the uh, <clears throat> lighting does not come all the object and um, stay at the surface of the object. That's it. Or another explanation of this, it means it cut uh, object in two centimeter and just calculated two centimeter at the surface. Be careful about that. Uh, this in this case the um, dimension of the, your object is very important look at here this is of dimension your object notice the dimension of your object and the number of the because it is in a centi centimeter in a sitting and the centimeter of the object is very important then you can see two centimeter of this number be careful about uh, those two objects for example if you have an <clears throat> object that has uh, five centimeter so these numbers you have to bring this number very lower number or we have a huge object so these numbers are small conjunction with that okay? be careful about the these these two numbers and the um, dimension of your object <clears throat> So this is a pass links. Uh, if you open this, you can uh, add red, green, and blue to your right click to make it. For example, I want to add a lot of red. You can see a lot of red color to in my subsurface scattering. Nice. Or simple, simple, simple green <coughs> color. So you can add RGB on your rendering with a pass link. So the pass link is very important. Another tab is a multiple or and single. Multiple and single. In default, we have a multiple enable here. What is that difference between multiple subsurface scattering, SSS or simple SSS? In a multiple, you can see we have a refraction. It means the light hit the surface of the object and refraction or we have a refraction the rays and we have something like that but uh, in a simple mode the right uh, refract and then go all object travel at all the object surface and come out it's a difference between the multiple and just simple uh, <clears throat> make sure um, the um, simple does not work in GI for example uh, let's see be careful about that for example here we have an horse you can see we have a, a softbox here that it's the lighting that emit the light and uh, there for better rendering you can uh, turn on the global illumination but be careful the global illumination if you set it to the single uh, just turn if you don't want to use that you can turn uh, multiple turn off and then turn on the uh, single it's working here so we have very mm, bright and as you can see we have uh, issues above the samples so if if you want i will explain them more but if you enable just a simple <clears throat> subsurface scattering and you are in a physical render or global illumination you cannot see that be careful you have to you can enable both of them at once and have a more 
brightness and better subsurface scattering if you want okay let's uh, <clears throat> talk about the setting of the multiple first mode cache it's uh, simple of the multiple it's cache the settings and the sample uh, but the direct the direct as you can see we have a more sample here it's very suitable for the object something like that this is an cache this is an direct for example we have an object that has a lot of hole in a cache it does not calculate well but if you have a very hole in your object very detailed you can see it calculate these details and the hole in a direct so if you have object, object something like that you can change it to the direct but if you <clears throat> turn on the direct for better seeing that you can activate a physical render here now you can see we have better result at the physical render and if you go to the physical render custom sampling will turn on if you go to back to the standard you can see it's turn on the sampling subdivisions if you are in a simple render if you want to more quality you can increase the number of the sampling subdivisions that uh, we have better quality of of render sampling but it takes too time to render be careful about that okay <clears throat> if you go to standard and again physical we have better quality and then you can turn on custom sampling now you can see we have better quality of the samples everything in 3d package these softwares are sample sampling are coming together and create that effects we have a noisy sample if you increase the number of that you have better quality nice so come back to standard and then come back to cache and now we have other sitting in a cache uh, fast evaluation if you have uh, artifact in your sample for example the sample density 100 percent or higher if you have a powerful system but i <clears throat> decrease the number of the samples that you can see the this samples will lower number oh you can see going down with 110 percent <clears throat> now you can see we have an issues above the samples somewhere here then you can smoothing the samples together more smoothing samples to better understanding that let's explain it with these settings <clears throat> where was that yeah another example of the multiple subsurfaces gathering if you, it, the heat light hits the surface as you can see it's uh, <clears throat> going the uh, right rays rays are going travel all around the object but in a sim single just we have one way light coming the object and go going from the other side oh simple not single sorry for that i uh make it wrong this multiple and single not a simple sorry for that. <clears throat> and okay where was that you can see these are samples okay the sampling the subsurface is gathering and you can smooth seeing these samples if you have less samples or if you want to uh, more fast render and decrease the number of the samples but you want to better object you can smoothing them together with <coughs> smoothing the threshold is uh, look at this for a threshold 
<coughs> you can see the you can see the higher number we have more bad details the lower number uh, lower number we have more quality or subsurface scattering you can see in these shadows in this intersection the object together so we have faster time uh, and we have long very take two time to render in a lower number of the threshold so the lower number you have more quality of rendering of subsurface scattering but be careful about the render time so if you if you are in a physical render you can uh, <clears throat> turn on the custom sampling here and give a higher number to better quality but make sure that you have powerful system subsurface scattering is very high there uh okay this is on cache you can turn it off and then go to the simple single <laughs> enable it and we have more bright subsurfaces gathering with shadows and in a light you can come here and shadow you can turn on a soft shadow If you want to calculate the shadows, trace shadow rays, you can turn it on or you can turn it off. Now you can see we don't have the shadows of the object to in itself. Turn on, you can calculate the shadow more. Nice, if you want, you can do it. But be careful, you have to turn on the shadow if you want. You can separate the color of the channel RGB, then you can see the RGB channel in your subsurface gathering if you want. Again, if you are in a physical, you can activate the custom uh, sampling. Let's... For explaining the a fast function it's very mathematical thing but you can see it better simple the higher number of the fast function you have more glassy and transparent object more bright or more darker object that's very simple it's all about the fast function you can try it here and we have more bright object if you want now we can see more bright object. Nice. It's a sim single enable the uh, multiple again to better quality. You or you can mix them together. Something like that. Now you can we have better subsurface scattering together with that. In the advanced tab, we have a fernal reflectivity. The fernal if fernel or fresnel i don't know uh, the pronounce of this object this uh, you can tell fernel or fresnel i call it fernel <coughs> it's spring if you have the object something like this and you, if you want to see the borders you can increase the number of the fernel reflectivity to better seeing this part you can better seeing that with this object fernal reflectivity for example uh, in this object we have the lips here to, as you can see <clears throat> because it is an subsurface scattering i cannot see these edges these edges of this but if you activate the fernal now you can see the bump of your object the border of your object the fernal for example, in reflection, it's bring the reflection at the edges. So the, if you activate the fernal reflectivity, uh, reflectivity, it's bring the reflection of the subsurface gathering to edges to better seeing the 3D object. Nice. Dithering, if you have gradient on your object, and for example, it's bring the green 
it's, it's better thing you can see it's better in gradient color. You can add gradient to your object if you go to the luminance, subsurface gathering in a, for example, a shader. Here you can add a gradient to your object or shader here. For example, simple gradient here, or if you want to, you can add a color gradient here. Okay. Dithering everywhere in a Cinema 4D means if you have two colors that are going together, it's smoothing the border of that colors together. The index of the refraction, this number is, for example, it's a refraction of the light that creates a glass, beer, apple, any mat kind of material. This is IOR. Uh, any material in the world has a specific IOR to ref um, light refraction. So you can see something like that difference between the diamond material and the apple or water. We have a mathematical number, don't change it. Or you can see the, uh, change it in a preset. A light compute and GI global illumination. Uh, it does not change if you turn on or off it does not change anything in the render but because uh, we assign the matter subsurface gathering in a luminance channel and a luminance channel if you bring this object in a <clears throat> scene it's emit light so uh, if you want to compute the gi you can turn it on it's brighten its area or you can not if you want because we assigned it a luminance channel luminance channel if you turn it on the object that assigned it here is emit light from itself use lights ex exclude it means uh, if you if you have a lot of light and you want to control your render time if you want just one light affect your object change it from exclude to include and then assign just this light this and this list and if you have a lots of other light you can see it does not just lighting the object it does not calculate the light in subsurface scattering just include this light to compute gi or your subsurface subsurface scattering just lighting of your scene does not affect the subsurface scattering calculation or gi you just compute this just include one if you want to uh, calculate all lights in gi you can exclude it it means uh, exclude an empty light. It means it calculate other light for computing GI. Okay, this is subsurface scattering shader, and that's it. I hope you enjoy.